Greetings, uh, my name is Alec Cartio, and I'm an automotive enthusiast, presenter, and uh, overall a car nut, if you will. <laughs> uh, my love and passion for cars began many years ago in my, uh, I would say around age or seven or eight, when I started feeling that I have a gravitation towards cars. My father was a car guy, my uncle were, was a car guy, so that sort of influenced me uh, into becoming a car guy myself. Um, over the course of the years, I had a lot of passion for different various cars, but for some reason, BMWs were always my go-to passion cars, especially starting with the 3 Series, which I recall the best, going over to 8 Series and what have you. The success of the E30 M3 proved to be extremely uh, big and worldwide. So of course, when BMW came out with uh, the E36 model, immediately they knew they, they had to make the M3 model so they could uh, capitalize on that market as soon as possible. And uh, while they made thousands of cars for the various markets of the regular M3s, whether it was Euro version, or uh, the US version, the right-hand version, left-hand uh, drive versions, automatics, manuals, convertibles, uh, different setups. They also, like the Sport Evo this, uh, versions of the E30, they also wanted to make a homologation series and lightweight version series of the M3 as well, limited edition fewer numbers, lighter cars, more horsepower, uh, better handling for the track and for the racing, for the GT racing series. So definitely that became what this car is. 356 cars made for the worldwide market. Uh, however, they didn't come to the US and, and, uh, at that point because they made the lightweight version for uh, the US. They all have the S50 uh, B30 uh, engines before the upgrade to the 3.2 liter. However, the camshafts from that one were brought over to uh, the 3.0 liter. The cars had 295 horsepower. Uh, of course, they're lighter and a lot more nimble. The engine is, of course, the European S50 B30 version with uh, the camshafts coming from the second generation of uh, the upgrade from the 3.2 liter from the later 95 models. They were all painted in British racing green with matching uh, interior, uh, two-tone black on green. This car is number 264 in the sequence of 356. The VIN says 263, but if you count the prototype car, which had this number 000, puts this car, which is number 263, as at the sequence of uh, uh, number 264 cars made. This beautiful car that we have here uh, was originally in Germany, out of which 80 cars out of the 356 were in Germany. It was later, uh, early on, imported or exported to Sweden, where it remains remained for the majority of its life, from I'd say from 97 to 2022. Various Swedish owners, uh, great caretaker history. We have the entire history going back all the way to uh, the first day he came to uh, Sweden, as well as the first owner and where it was delivered in the manual and the book and the service book uh, that comes with the car in Germany, which dealer was sold at. The mileage uh, over the years, uh, all the work, all the maintenance, and everything that has that done over the course of the years. Until it was imported by me and my partners here in uh, 2022. Uh, since these are now 27, 28 years old of age, and uh, they qualify for the US regulations for import. Uh, Apart from the fact that it's an extremely exclusive car to have, apart from the fact that I, anywhere I drive it, people give me thumbs up or get attention by it. Forget all of that. 
I've driven multiple different uh, versions of the M3 E36 M3, and this <laughs> by far is the most agile, the most, the fastest, the, the best handling, and it's just, it's on a different level. It, it, it's, there's so much smooth engine power coming out of it, but it's uh, a daily driver when you need it, and it but it's also a, uh, crazy agile fast racetrack car when you need it it is overall beautiful it has the m wheels has the lower spoiler the car is of course lower naturally because of its suspension it has the rear spoiler as you can see including the extra inlays which makes it uh, taller if you want to uh, which i haven't installed there's no radio in the car um for i guess of weight saving <laughs> three spoke steering wheel and just overall a pure joy to drive uh, you will see in uh, the videos that i've shot for you um, how it handles how it drives it has 104,000 kilometers which translates to about 65,000 miles and i would say uh, without knowing 100 percent exact that i think there are about maybe three of these cars, maximum four. I know of one more here in California, but in the US, I would probably say three cars, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Overall, an incredibly beautiful and rare car. Uh, 356 made, and this is number 264. Please have a look at my videos, see the driving, see the handling. Uh, it's just a pure joy to drive. Um, <clears throat> I would highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for a very rare, um, highly sought after M3 GT. They had the lightweight versions for the US, but for the rest of the world, they had the GT versions. Um, I personally like this more because it has that British racing green, kind of a camouflage look to it. It doesn't stick out as much as lightweight does and it actually has a better uh, engine uh, as well, in my opinion. Um, looking forward to be uh, sending this to a uh, new home. Mind you, uh, we've done all the difficult uh, legwork for you. The import process, the paperwork, the titling, the US, everything. Uh, it took us several months to do it. All the headache has been taken out of uh, your hands and into my hands and it's here ready for you presenting for you uh once again this uh, beautiful uh, gt homologation series from uh, the gt fa gt racing series car british racing green uh, matching interior 65,000 miles all sorted no history of accidents uh there's been some paint work on some panels but as far as i know according to swedish carfax as well as the history that we have there never was any accident this car was involved in. It, it's pretty straight, no rust underneath, as you can see in the photos. And it's just overall a very, very, very wonderful and extremely rare and highly sought after M3 version. They don't come around that often. From the looks of it, it is the first time it is also being presented on Bring a Trailer. So I'm very, very excited about that. Have a wonderful day. My name is Alan Cartio, and I'll see you on the auction block. Hi everyone, Alec here with the M3 GT. It's a bit of a alarm procedure to start the car from Europe. It comes with this uh, key fob dongle. Turn the key on, it won't start. You have to bring this down here where the activator is and then it will start. And just put it here, like we always do. Let's go for a fun drive. The car is extremely nice and well sorted and smooth. When these cars are warmed up, Oh, they're wonderful, wonderful driving cars. Right. Amazing cars. The car's already warmed up. 
stuff, so that's why I'm pushing it. Fourth gear. It just flies through the gears. I'm already at 130 kilometers. Sweet. 